Good morning. 8 a.m. Going to work. I need to be there by 9. And I heard that punctuality is a big deal. <laughs> so the big boss is there making sure that I am all set. It's a little rainy out, so I know that's going to take some time. But I hope nobody's being too aggressive. Tire pressure light still on. Um, it is... I'm, I'm a little nervous with this rain, not gonna lie. Just because rush hour brings out the worst in people, but I'm assuming anybody who has to be at work by eight is either at work or almost there. So now this next hour should be for the people who need to be at work by nine. See, see, see my common thinking. <laughs> so, okay, let me head off. I know I'm wearing kind of casual stuff, it's Thursday, but it's my Friday at work, and I just figure like, casual Friday. I don't know, some people dress really casual, but I already, it won't matter because I would be having this on and zipped up because it's chilly in there. Let's go! Just kidding, because you guys fall off every time I go. So I drove for 40 minutes to get here, and um, I should just be thankful that it's not raining right now because I only have outdoor parking. Yeah, I miss the days when I was indoor. Trust me, I do, even though validation for that was crazy expensive. Um, I gotta get situated. <laughs> so, um, the work is going pretty well. Um, I still feel like I'm in a training period or just the fact that the company hasn't yet launched publicly with some things. So there's a little bit of a lull period. I know today will be kind of a training day where we're doing scenarios. Everything else leading up to it has been pretty tedious. Um, it's been fine. It's kind of like busy work. Um, feels a lot like kind of administration work where you're kind of just making sure the bells and whistles in the back are great. Um, good company I like the people so pretty much that's the best recap that I can give you guys um, trying to think of anything else it's kind of cold in there it's raining <laughs> I don't want to be here I don't think I should be filming <laughs> I definitely was crying earlier I think you can kind of tell I don't know with the ring light if you would but I did splurge and I got Zoe's Kitchen again from DoorDash. Ah! Um, yeah, I don't know. I felt like it's been a while since I've had a good cry and stuff. Um, then it was hard because I feel like I was emotional and then I was, there was like a lot of, I think, somewhat miscommunication with the boy. Then the boy was confused. And um, finally, I was like, okay, fine. Like, I'll pick up the phone. I'll talk, you know? And then... I feel like overall it was a pretty good conversation where I just needed to talk about my feelings. Not so much like exactly regarding him. I just sometimes bottle up my feelings. So, but like still, like, you know, post cry, even if you feel better, you're not always in the mood to just film, to like have, ma get a main channel video going. So I'm kind of reworking my plans for tonight. And I think I can keep myself busy and still be productive YouTube wise on this Thursday night and then Friday, since I have off from my other jobs, I can just focus on what I need to with filming. So that sounds about right. But I'm also a bit stressed. Sorry, I keep looking over here. So we all know that I love my Obama book and it's been like a good read, but it's been slow. It's like 400 pages, which I know to some of you guys, it's not a lot, but I can be a pretty slow reader because I'm out of practice and it's taking a while. And it's due on Saturday, and I called to renew it for like the fifth time, and then it says that it cannot be renewed. Somebody has placed a hold on it. So I know what I'm going to be doing tonight. I'm going to be reading. I don't know if I'm seeing the boy later. It's his dad's B-Day dinner, and they're just hanging out. Good morning. It's pretty early, but I did go to bed on time. <laughs> so we are about to head out, and I got to take care of some kitties. I've shown you these kitties before, but there's actually a few more because it's like an animal rescue area. So I figured since I think the cats are pretty cute, I've gotten to know some of them pretty well. I'm gonna show you guys. So let's go.
play with some kitties. <laughs> Actually, it's gonna be more me taking care of them and doing the litter box, but I need, to, I'll just show you cute footage, don't worry. the same day guys I did the cats and I was going strong but I kind of want to nap kind of want to get a sandwich delivered to me because I'm super bad like that I might do that I don't know I mean I haven't really eaten much today and I'm so tired already I'm so lazy I don't want to get anything from the fridge and I don't think I have anything right now but I'm just not in the mood to grocery shop I am so burned out by that so I think I might just have a sandwich delivered and like drink a lot of water and then I'll see like really do I need a nap or can I power through because I actually have to film today and then the boy is coming over later hopefully. I don't know if he feels 100% but at the same time I still got to make sure I do some filming and once I get the filming done then I can continue doing my other side projects. So like there's still a lot that I should be doing today. But I also just want a nap. I don't know. I don't know what I want. Ah, I think, you know what? I'm going to have DoorDash bring me a sandwich. It's what I want. It's what I deserve, okay? I feel like... <laughs> I feel like these vlogs just expose how lame I am. Oh, well. Mm, it's amazing how much better I feel. Watching. Is this going to show? Tina Mojo's vlog. Caprizi. Oh, kitty, are you done cleaning yourself? How does your face look? How does it look? Oh, it looks so much better. The white part on his nose was brown because he shoved his face in the food. This kitty's a bit scared of me. But Sierra is scared of like a lot of people. <laughs> so I don't take offense. She's just a little skitty cat. And then Chili always gets little fur chunks. So I didn't get them all. He has little tiny ones here still. But he had some pretty bad ones. So I was able to get a little chunky out of there. I think it'll be a little less itchy. I bet it makes him all itchy when he has them. So, but he does not like it. Yeah, is that right? You don't like it. You like to keep all your hair chunks. You were not. You were a fan of me scratching you, but not the brush. I am finally going to get my hair cut. It's been way too long. So on camera, and especially with my ring light, my hair looks really good. But in real life, <laughs> these ends are very dry looking. They're very hard to manage. Um, there's a lot of split ends. I am able to close the split ends with the conditioner I use. It's pretty good quality. But then again, because my hair runs dry and these are already extra dry, I can't be doing that to my hair every single day. I also don't have time or the patience to do that. <laughs> so that my hair looks a lot more manageable and relaxed than it usually does. 
I still have a lot of really bad stubborn days and it's hard because it makes me look trashy I'm not gonna lie not very presentable and also the fact that now I'm working in a downtown office space just not a good look so now I am on a budget and I don't want anything fancy this time around I kind of like my winter sheen I think it's very good for my hair that I've been waiting so long before I process it again even if it's just as simple as highlights I think it looks cute like I think it, it has a good look to it. It's a very dark blonde. You can still see it's on the blonde spectrum because like, don't get me wrong, I'm still a blonde. <laughs> you know, it's just not my fault. There's not a lot of sun exposure right now to lighten my hair. It's natural hue. So because of that, because I really am so tired of waiting in a chair for three to four hours and of spending a lot of money on my hair, even though in the past I've done a school, which is cheaper, but at the same time, because I was getting a full color treatment, whatever, I was still spending about a hundred dollars. No, I don't have time. I don't like that. So I'm about to revisit Supercuts. Now Supercuts, I don't know if you have it in your location. It's a very quick in, quick out kind of experience. The basic level of a haircut does not include a blow dry for them to see how your hair looks. It makes me a little nervous. I know they're licensed and they probably do so many haircuts a day, but I still have had a lot of bad experience, especially with people doing long layers. It's just, it, at the school I went to, a lot of them were stumped with how to proceed with that. And some of them just didn't even know and my hair looked so bad. Like it was literally like, one layer and one layer and there was no blend to it whatsoever i am dead serious i know i filmed it at one point i don't even know what vlog that was in but yeah i'm tired of crying so i am a bit nervous about that but at the same time why would i then upgrade my haircut to a higher amount just to also include the blow dry i think that's kind of where they rip you off like you're ending up splurging for a higher premium package not about that. Like I said, like this is just super cuts. So after work, I'm going to go in, I'm going to try my best to communicate what I want. It's very simple. It's pretty much this hair with a little bit more face frame, not bangs like last time where I cried face frame, like cut them off here or something and getting, keeping the long layers, but really getting rid of all this fringe. <laughs> not about that. So, okay, so I guess we're gonna do the whole process and then we'll see what the mystery hair turns out to be. Hello, hello. So, here's my haircut. The girl was so fast. Oh my gosh, she was the manager and she was just like snip, 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 snip. Um, so, just to let you know that I paid a total of $35.19. This is not including tip, I did tip her really well because I was so amazed by how fast she was and how promising the haircut looked. Um, this was $15, this product that I'll talk about in just a bit. I don't know how well you guys can really see it. Let me tap on the thing. It's Paul Mitchell. So, um, but yeah, so let me talk about my experience. I didn't really want to vlog it. Felt like that was a little too personal for um because i really didn't think she wanted to be on camera or anything like that and it was so quick it was so in and out like i had no wait time but pretty much i told her about here so she got that right it seems like um i will say though when i was driving and i went like this i was like wait like how short did she make my hair like it feels so short right now it's incredible um but at the same time i did tell her that I'm so tired of the dry ends. They're so trashy looking like they need to go. So I wouldn't be surprised if maybe she went a little bit higher and was just so disgusted by my hair, just cutting the dead ends off. Uh, but she was really nice about it. And of course she did some face framing and no bangs, exactly how I like it, where they pretty much touch the jawline, very pretty that way. Um, but basically, like I said, I wanted the bare minimum treatment. So they wet your hair, but they don't drench it. So you can see my hair is already drying. Um, everything from what I could tell looked accurate, like how the layers were cut, um, just in general, the back. So, and just the fact that she probably does haircuts like back to back, back to back. And there's a pair, probably a lot of girls that come in there wanting some form of layers. I feel pretty confident, but I still have to finish out the process for you guys to really see how this went. Um, but yeah, so 
makes it seem like so like the haircut itself was twenty dollars and then this was 15 which is why i spent 35 dollars and 19 cents and then i ended up giving her like an eight dollar tip and i pulled from the 35 dollar amount even though like i think some people would just take the haircut percentage and calculate the tip she was so good so i was like you know what i'm gonna add this to my calculations like and do the full total if that makes sense um but yeah if, no complaint oh hey guys <laughs> So I ended up not showing anything last night because I was having such a hard time capturing the footage with the lighting and whatnot. So I straightened my hair. I kind of wish I didn't straighten right here that much. Um, I still have frizzies, probably because I just didn't get a treatment done on my hair. I probably need to get like a mask or something. But I think overall, even though it is short in the front, I think it's super cute. Um, I'm definitely now, no longer have any processed ends for sure. Definitely a winter sheen. And then I'm gonna try my best. Oh, this thing is kind of gross. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm gonna try my best to show you in the back, which I forgot to tell her I wanted a rounded back, but she might've already observed that. So I know I wasn't able to make everything board straight. I don't have time. Like I gotta be out the house like two minutes ago. But to be honest, it all looks still good. Like even if like I wasn't that great at straightening it, this and that, it's a fresh cut where it can always look a little more blunt, I guess you'd say. But I think she did a pretty good job with the layers. And if it doesn't look good, I can't tell. <laughs> so that's the real review. <laughs> so. Okay, it's cute though, it's cute. It's cute, right? Oh gosh, just tell me it's cute, okay. Um, here's my outfit. You've seen this kind of outfit before. I gotta go. I did a little more with my makeup though. Like I did double, like I did an eyeliner. I mixed the two because they kind of like act as a lip stain to last longer. And then I put a little bit more like brown eyeshadow on before I put the shimmer. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. I'm really just stalling. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe to join the fam bam, whether it's the live channel, the main channel, or all the channels, just do them all if you want. Give this video a like because this was a really long vlog, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and um, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, love you, mean it. Bye guys.